Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Sydney. And kung birthday mo ngayon, happy birthday! If it's not your birthday, I still hope you're having an awesome day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this book called Love for Imperfect Things by Heyman Sunim. So this book is about self-love and love for others. Sobrang dami kong natutunan sa librong to. So today, I will tell you the five lessons I learned from this book. And hopefully, this video will inspire you to read this. So without further ado, let's get started. So lesson number one is one of the main messages of this book. And that is, if you're kinder to yourself, you become kinder to others. He said na in order for you to be kind to others, kailangan daw mabuti ka muna sa sarili mo. Isa sa mga binigay niyang examples is sa airplane, pag may emergency, you were told to put your mask first before you help your sitmate. And sobrang ganda ng message na to because kindness starts from within. And if you don't have love for yourself, it's hard for you to love others, to give love to other people. And if you don't feel good about yourself, minsan lumalabas yun sa ibang tao, sa pakikitungo mo sa ibang tao. Isa talaga sa mga messages ng librong to is you have to love yourself first, be kind to yourself first, and then you will start being kind to other people. Second thing I learned from this book is that you have to honor your emotions. Actually, isa to sa mga bagay na nahihirapan din ako. It's hard for me to express my emotions, express my feelings. And the reason why is that natatakot ako sa sasabihin ng iba, natatakot ako na baka pag nag-open up ako sa ibang tao, sa nararamdaman ko is hindi nila maintindihan or hindi nila pakinggan. Amin Sunim said in this book that you have to respect your own feelings na kailangan mo i-express yung sarili mo para maintindihan ka ng ibang tao, para malaman ng iba yung nararamdaman mo. Like for example, someone asks you for a favor and you really don't want to do it but because you don't want to disappoint them, you just say yes. And sabi niya, kapag daw ina-express mo yung sarili mo and yung nararamdaman mo, mas irerespeto ka ng mga tao kasi honest ka sa nararamdaman mo. Instead na yes ka lang ng yes sa lahat ng bagay. Lesson number three is that when we listen to other people, we become instantly closer to them. In this book, the author said that if you want to build better relationships with others, you have to learn how to be a good listener. And I really believe that because in my experience, pag may taong nakikinig sa akin or may isang taong na pag open up ko, I instantly feel that I can trust them and that I consider them as a close friend. Kasi nakikinig sila sa akin and they're willing to be there for me. In this book, I learned that if I want to have more friends, I have to learn how to be a better listener because sometimes when people have problems or they're experiencing hardships in life, especially during this pandemic, they just want someone to be there for them, to listen to them, and we all want that, diba? Minsan, you don't even have to offer advice. All you have to do is listen to someone and show them that you're there for them, that you're present. The next lesson I learned from this book is that love transcends all understanding. Sabi niya, people who love us, they love us unconditionally. And sometimes when we feel down or when we feel like a failure because we're experiencing so many rejections in life, we feel as though we're very unlovable. But the truth is, there are people who love us unconditionally, like our family, our friends, especially our family. And that's the thing about love, because when you love someone, kahit gano pa kababa yung tingin nila sa sarili nila, hindi nagbabago yung pagmamahal mo sa kanila. So when we feel bad about ourselves, we have to think of those people who love us unconditionally. Kailangan mo isipin kahit gano'n pa kababa ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, 
may mga taong sobrang proud sa iyo at naniniwala sa iyo. So, you have to believe that you are lovable because of those people. And the main message of this book is this lesson number 5, which is you are already worthy of love. Sabi nga sa librong to, even if we are imperfect beings, we are already worthy of love. You don't need to be successful. You don't need to be perfect. You don't even need to be the best version of yourself to be lovable. You are already lovable for who you are. Minsan binubuli mo yung sarili mo na ano bang meron sa akin, um, wala pa ako nararating sa buhay, mga ganyan. But the thing is that you are worthy of love and you really have to believe that if you want to start loving yourself, if you want to start becoming better. I just want to share that Heimin Sunim, he is a Korean monk and his faith is really strong. And I'm the same thing. I'm a Christian and one of the things I learned about being a Christian is that I am loved. Even if I sometimes feel like I'm worthless, I am already loved. And siguro yun yung pinakapalantandaan sa akin that I am worthy. Because in God's eyes, I am special. So kahit ano pa yung paniniwala mo sa buhay, kahit ano pa yung religion mo or yung faith mo, meron at merong mga tao na nagmamahal sa'yo. And sila yung mga palatandaan na you are already worth loving. So you should also start loving yourself. So that's it guys. Those are the five lessons I learned from this beautiful book by Heimin Sunim. And I hope that this video inspires you to read this book because this is such a beautiful book. It even has beautiful illustrations like this and like this. And there are pages that are just full of passages that you can easily relate to. Words that will inspire you to start loving yourself and other people better. So hopefully, mabasa nyo to because I highly suggest this to everyone. Especially to those who are struggling with self-love. I really think that this is the book for you. And that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And comment down below what is the thing you love most about yourself. So that's it guys. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I'll see you guys again on my next one. Bye!